fucking video because I need to speak about this shit. Okay. I have a new nickname. It is Brady. Uh, <laughs> uh, something we were talking about the other day was compassion um, for self and others. One of the strongest ways that someone can hold compassion is to be there and to be supportive to another person regardless of what it is they need support with, just to be there to listen. But compassion to self, um, a lot of what was brought up was like self-care, things like that, and self-compassion to me is just taking care of your physical and mental health. Because those are the most compassionate things you can do, I think, for another person and for yourself. And um, you can do that through self-care, I guess, self-compassion through self-care. But a lot of times, for me at least, I feel like self-care isn't pointless, but it's difficult to do because, you know, I feel selfish if I take a bath or, you know, do something that's nice for me. Or I don't, I don't really take particular interest in, like, things that are, like, self-care things, like taking baths. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just don't see that as really something that is self-care or like something that I'd want to do as self-care but um so I think that's something that's just good to keep in mind is like am I being compassionate to others am I being compassionate to myself because if we're not being compassionate to others and ourself then what is the point like, to be compassionate for someone, um, or for yourself, is it's beautiful, because when you allow yourself to open up to someone else, when you allow or hold space for them to open up to you, like, that's when connection forms and that's one of the most beautiful things about being human is holding compassion for other humans it's empathy um letting yourself feel empathy for others and sympathy even if you haven't experienced the same thing holding space for someone else for them to be able to feel comfortable being vulnerable for them to be able to heal. That's what we're here for. We're here to be love. We're here to be compassionate for others. We're here to be compassionate humans, compassionate beings. And the thing about compassion is that it doesn't just go one way and to be compassionate and to be there and to be vulnerable with others for others you have to you have to have compassion and love and acceptance at some level of yourself because otherwise it's so easy to absorb other people's emotions it's so easy to get caught up in their stories in their issues and their problems and their struggles in their happiness and you f can often forget what it is that you want to work on within yourself what it is that is difficult for you to work on or that needs attention like those things kind of dissipate and are pushed under the surface if you can't first bring them up and deal with them either in relation to others or by yourself and the doors opening um I just think that it's really important to be able to hold compassion for others and also to be able to hold space for yourself at the same time, which is a hard balance. It's hard to hear someone else's stories and not feel as though it affects you, uh, me. When I say you, I'm talking about me. 
but yeah so I'm going to try to challenge myself to hold compassion not just for others but for myself um, through being present and being there for myself because I am worth being compassionate towards even though that's hard to say and hard to believe at times so yeah I'm gonna go do some compassionate shit <laughs>